So we are going to use this website word pop in order to get our data. So in the Google search bar type word pop data, we are going to use this website or simply click on it in the description below. We will be redirected to this web page where we are going to get our data. So here you will find a lot of information about this data set and other sets of data. So we are going to click on explore and access our global regional data sets and we will get this page. So from here, you got a lot of data sets to choose from like administrative areas, dependency ratios, population density. So for us, we are going to click on populated weighted density. We will get this page so from here we are going to download our data so we are talking about unconstrained individual countries between 2000 and 2020 so i am going to click on it so if you want to get more information about this data so you will get it as an ascii xyz format at a resolution of 30 arc seconds approximately one kilometers at the equator Let's go ahead and click on here and we will get this huge data set to choose from. So you can look for any country. You can use the continent country filter or the easiest way that we are going to use in this tutorial is to simply click in the search bar for the country that you are looking for. So let's for example go with France. I will type France. You can see that I get multiple results for France so for the the population density for each year so this is very handful if you want to see the evolution of the population density over years so for me i will go with with the 2020 population density i will download it so to do so i will click on data and resources i will be redirected to this page where i have all the information about the brand's population density in 2020 with a small description that describing this data set it's an ascii x and y z format at a resolution of 30 arc here you can find the research paper here you have the recommended citation if you want to include this data inside of your research paper and now the most important thing for us is to get this data outside of this website in order to use it in any arcgis software now we have two data sets to choose from the, the best one is the, is the chief, but we are going also to download the zip data. So click on this chief, navigate to where we want to save it, and then click on save. I will do the same for the zip file, click on it, choose where we want to save it, and then click on save. So at the end of the download, you will get your zip file and the zip file. Click on the zip file, right click, and then click on extract here. You can see that it contains this CSV file. Now I will go ahead and open ArcGIS Pro in order to visualize this data. You can use also ArcGIS Desktop or QGIS. So in order to add the raw data in the CSV format, head over to Map and then click on this Add Data and then click on X and Y Point Data. We'll get this menu and click on here to input your file. Navigate to your work folder, click on your CSV file that we have that you have just downloaded. And then click on OK. So here you can choose where you want to output your zip file. For the X field, it's the X field in this data. For the Y field, it's the same name. And for the Z field, it's this one. So here you can specify the coordinate system. It already detects automatically that it's WGS1984. And then just click on run. So wait until the end of the processing. So at the end you will get all these points as raw data. You can also add the second file which is a chip file. It's much more easier than those raw points. So I will uncheck population points and head over again to map and then click on add data and then click on data. Navigate to your work folder and then click on the chief file and then click on OK. Again click on OK to build pyramids. And there we go, you got your chief image. This one is much more easier to work with. You can, for example, click on it and change the symbology here. Click on this color bar. And from here, you can, for example, change the color. Let's go with this one, for example. The highest value corresponds to the to Paris. 
So I hope that you got some useful information from this tutorial, if so please like it and subscribe if you want to get more tutorials.